It's while I was working on this slideshow, Daughter Number Two's Wedding, that I had an idea for an effect. So while I was working on this image itself, I was coming through and I just wanted to hold the viewer's attention on the bridesmaids here in the centre, starting off with the whole room, but then just focusing in and giving a really nice dreamy effect. Now, all right, this is a wedding slideshow, but the effect itself works on a whole range of different uh, subject matters and you can change the effect as well. Let me show you what I mean. Slide number one, we're just going to double click. We're going to go to the effect tab. This is on the slide options. We're going to go to the adjustment effects. There we are. Dropping down onto the layer itself. If you right click, then go to add adjustment layer, coming across to add gradient. When this opens, create gradient. This is the important part here. The type, it's gone in with the default colors, but we're going to change this to radial so you've now got this effect coming through now what you're going to see when you apply an effect to it the effect will come through on the center the white area there it'll then feather out to the black area where it will come back to the image itself so it'd be a good idea if you come across to reverse and click on reverse colors so now the sort of this part here the solid black this is where the image will stay it'll then feather out so that's where the effect will apply on the maximum area where the white is but something we can do on the slider here, the color slider here, a bit like a shield, if you move this across, we can increase that area of black. That looks pretty good like that. You can also come in, you can click on the white. You can move this across. And as we move it across, you'll notice this white area there, the solid area, moves right the way in. And you can even give a really solid circle there it is to the effect as well if you want to so the whole thing is completely adjustable we're going to move that back into that sort of area would be pretty good but there's more if you come to the center you can click down and you can move it around and if you concentrate on this one here concentrate deeply really deeply you're feeling heavy right moving swiftly on just leaving it in the center because with this image our subject matter is right in the center but you can of course move it around to whichever area you want to go to that would be pretty good we're going to click OK to that through it goes right start position end position it's the end position we're going to look at we're going to count we're going to go to blur we're going to take the blur right up to that sort of area there it would be pretty good if we just click down dragging it across you'll notice as we move this across the way the background there now begins to blur through that's exactly what I'm after looking pretty good like that a few things I want to change first of all let's drop drop down to the total time there clicking on the box we're going to put in six seconds for this particular one transition out three seconds we'll leave that as it is click OK to that so this is now when we play it it's going to come through it's going to start fading down you'll notice it fading through there like the look of that but there's more if we come to this slide here keyframe number two we can click on it we can move it in I'm gonna take this to four seconds there this will mean the effect will start even sooner as we bring it through there it is it's now starting on that area there I like the look of that it's coming through but uh, we're now missing a keyframe if we right click we can click on insert that's putting keyframe number three and if we just take a look this keyframe number two it has copied the figures across there pretty nifty or what so let's move keyframe number three out we can also come to brightness we're going to take the brightness up to that sort of area the white point as well we're going to take that up to that because what I'd like to do is to give this sort of high key effect to it as it's coming through giving more of a dreamy effect let's see how that's going to work there it is there liking the look of that let's take the brightness up even more as well as the white point now when we take a look at this and um, you can play with these effects you can do whichever ones you want you might just want to do the hue you might want to do the contrast entirely up to you that's the sort of effect I'm looking for there that nice sort of highlighted dream effect job done something else I'd like to do with this particular slide though is go to the motion effects tab we're going to click on the layer itself, layer number two. There's our image. And if we just take a look at the bridesmaids, uh, it's the end position here. Just going to come to the zoom X, Y. It's linked, so the two are going to move in together. I'm just going to take this across very slightly to that area. That would be pretty good. Yep, just dropping it down a little bit. 
liking the look of that. I'm not sure the Claire or Bridesmaid there likes it. Oh, that's better. Right, coming through. I'm going a bit cross-eyed. Through that goes. Yep, job done. You can, of course, do a whole range of other bits and pieces with it as well, but there's something else I'd like to do with this. It's an effect I like, and rather than going through the whole process of repeating it and sort of doing it over and over, why don't we just go to Slide with a Slide Style, so on the Slide Style tab, we're going to go to Create, so clicking on Create, we're going to come in, we're going to give it a name, what we're going to call it, we're going to call it, uh, yeah, I can't think of it, Zoom, let's do what it's actually doing, Zoom Vignette, yep, where are we going to put it, we can select, and I'm going to select from the fly up menu here, my own slide style, so I'm going to click apply to that, so that's where it's going, but you can choose wherever you want it to go. The publisher's name, your website address, etc, etc, aspect ratio, yes it will do both, so I'll tick the box there, is it compatible with, I'll leave that unchecked. You can then put it in the description of your choice, entirely up to you, and click OK to that. So that has now saved it, there it is there, under your own slide styles, in it pops, it's telling us the aspect ratio as well and any slide. I'm just going to click OK to that. Let's move on to our next slide here. The bride herself, daughter number two. Let's double click on it. Let's come into this. We're on the slide, slide style, taking a look at it. If we drop down, we're going to click on it to highlight it. Click in apply. You can see the effect coming through there in the preview. Yeah, I like the look of that. We're going to click apply saying are you sure yes that's why I clicked apply going through there let's click OK to that let's take a look just come to this position here and click play left it three seconds for now taking a look at it yeah love that dreamy effect nice one right double click in don't forget we can come to the effects tab we're going to come down to the gradient just taking a look there it is there over face that looks pretty good but you can always right click you can come to edit layer gradient options so we've applied it don't forget as a slide style but we can still come in we can still edit it let's just take this through a little bit more like that softer gradient just moving it up a little bit just to make sure it's over daughter number two's face like that so we can edit this as well as it's now done and if we can even go to this one here Let's just click play, see how this is going to work. Through it goes, dreamy effect there. Look at even dreamier. Like the look of that. If you want to, let's just click between two and three here. Let's just take the brightness up even more and just click a final play just to see how that's going to come through. Yeah, spot on. Click OK job done. So there it is. Let's go back to the beginning. We've applied it to the two slides. Don't forget the first one here we set up. We then put it as a slide style. You've seen we can come in. We can edit it for the next time you want to use it. You can change any of the effects you want with this. Click in play. Coming through there. Zooming in. Nice bit of blur. Just sort of holding the concentration there on the main subject matter as we are with this one here as well. Through you go. Great stuff go on give it a go it really does work on a whole range of different subject matters it just sort of focuses you in do it as a slide style save yourself a lot of work as well go on give it a go until the next time it's happy imaging and take care